High Unity of Ocala friends and family. I'm Reverend Laurie, and we are going through a process in September of cleansing our energy systems from the inside out. And to do that, to help us get clear and open and see what our next steps are. For me to do that, I like to study and work on meditations of the chakra system. They align beautifully with the 12 powers of man by Charles Fillmore. And by focusing on these areas of the body, we are able to open to a higher consciousness. Our bodies are not just a physical structure. Yes, they are the temple of God, where that creative energy lives and breathes and creates and journeys through the earth and through our experiences. But we are a spiritual being connected to all there is in the universe. And sometimes we let our world get so small around us that we forget how expansive we really are and how powerful we really are. And situations in life tend to block us from some of these spiritual energies if we let it. And often we just kind of stumble bum through life, not even realizing that we're doing some blocking. Grief, for example, can be a major source of blockage, especially if we get stuck in the egoic mind going through the loss of someone close or the loss of something dear or changes in life that have caused challenges and frustrations that tends to give us a reason to shut down certain areas of that spiritual energy. And whenever there's a block in any of these chakra fields, that area that that chakra represents can wreak havoc, havoc on us. And so we've started at the beginning of the month at the very first chakra, the Jade Gate, that lower part of us, that human survival in its rawest state. That chakra is responsible for sexual impulses, for life, for survival, for getting by on this earthly planet. That was perhaps the dominant chakra in our caveman days, in our tribal days, when we were just experiencing life on this planet as part of opening up to this full human being. And then we came up the chakra system from that jade gate to the second chakra, which is that fire in the belly, that brilliant orange and red that represents the earth palace. And that's where we're connected to mother earth and all that glorious life that come, comes through us. And we're moving out of survival mode and into a place of choice, of making decisions. And that is the digestive area. So that's the place where we can decide to begin to release and let go of those things of the world that no longer serve us. Those anchors that helped keep us sturdy and steady and in one place, we no longer need them. So cleansing that out and balancing that, and we are moving up now higher on the chakra scale, getting more and more closer to that ego-less part of us, divine spirit, that highest seventh chakra. So coming up to the third chakra, which we worked on last week, that represents that area of intuition, the solar plexus, that bright yellow with a tinge of orange like a peach, but that wisdom where Solomon lies, where we know instinctively that yes, we are a part of a human existence, but there is something more there's something more going on in us than bones and flesh. There is an active movement of divine grace. And as we begin to open that chakra area, we begin to realize our connection with our source. We begin this divine interdance 
with the divine spirit, with all of creation. And life begins to open in new ways that we perhaps didn't see before. And this is so powerful during the grieving process, just to experience these different levels of who you are, these different surprises that are in you, these gifts that God keeps giving us to unwrap with each passing moment. It's an exciting journey. So today we move up to the very center the very center chakra. There are three chakras below this chakra and three chakras above it. It is the center, the heart chakra. It is located in the heart area, but the whole heart area from just outside of the skin, clear through the sternum and out the back, that whole area, that is a power source. That is a source of radiation. And this is where, when we allow that connection to fully take hold, we have the capacity of compassion that we have never experienced before. It is as if Jesus Christ himself has moved in and bloomed, and there is nothing but joy and love and peace. Don't you want to be there? This is also a place that can shut right down. When we are injured, or hurt, especially emotionally, when our egos are fragile and we're upset. Because when this begins to soften and get weak, we take on those energies that are weakening it. You know what that feels like when we're listening to a newscast that is just hurting us and we are absorbing the sadness that can cause spiritual and oftentimes physical damage in this area. But this area can also be a source of our greatest strength. This area, this brilliant, bright, gold area can open fully like a 12 petal lotus and draw to it the energy of love, agave love the ultimate eternal love where no sense of ego or fear or depression or sadness can live. It's like choked out from the glory of compassion and love. And this is going to be a powerful meditation. And I want you to just really absorb this. This is considered the mind palace. It is what connects us to the divine mind, to the creative source. This is where we start shifting from that lizard reptilian brain into the dolphin brain, the highest brain uh, achievable in the human experience. Did you know that? Science is now catching up to that, which spiritual teachers have known forever. This is gold. It is in the sternum area. It represents personal powers and emotions. So once we work on really cleansing this and getting down, polishing that dull, tarnished gold into a brilliant, blooming, sparkling lotus, we begin to unfold that in us, which is already in there, and just goes into dormancy whenever we have a stumble bum on the planet. And we don't have to stay in that place of, of falling, of tripping, of lagging. No, we just, we just recognize it. We embrace it. We realize that that was just a dent in that, in that beautiful golden flower. And we just buff that little dent out and let that lotus expand to its fullest reaches. So that's what we're going to do today. A meditation to polish that area into a brilliant, glistening, golden light that cleanses and fortifies every cell in our body so that all the weeds of fear and ego mind are simply choked out. They cannot thrive when that lotus is in full bloom. So are you ready to go into a time of meditation and cleansing and peace?
So I invite you, as with all of these meditations, when I have come to the end of the guided part, please stay in the quiet. Please allow your inner vision to come fully to life. Enjoy and take note of the colors that you see, the sounds internally that you hear. They may be spoken words. They may be music. They may be whispers. They may be poems. They may be visions of pictures of art designs. We don't know what that inner spirit of yours is going to bring you, but it is when we become still and focus within and release that which comes up. And whatever comes up, let it. If a bad memory or an uncomfortable, unpleasant recognition comes up, allow it, embrace it, ask it, why are you here? What are you trying to teach me and tell me? Thank you for being here with me. I no longer need you. You may go. And let that go and see what's blooming underneath it. See what you've been blocking by your fear, your anger, or your resentment, or just your, your simple worry and doubt. See what's underneath that. We're going to start polishing those lotus leaves. So let's get really comfortable in our chairs. Take in some nice, deep cleansing breaths. We're going to go through a cleansing starting from that first chakra just to experience the colors and make sure those lower chakras are cleared and open and ready to bounce right up into this center chakra, this fourth chakra. So let's become still. Now I want you to breathe right into this sternum, that little dent space in your chest. Breathe. Fill your lungs up so full that you feel that pressure all through your back and your shoulder area. And just flush that clean, flush that out. Imagine a hose with golden splashes coming through and just hosing that area clean. Feel your chest expanding and opening, opening wide with no weight, no fear, no blocks. Let's start at the very base, that first chakra that the, your chair is touching that your backside is nestling on that first chakra and we imagine a bright bright red brilliant bright red the color of life that's clear and open clean red not darkened not tarnished clean bright clear red easily to travel upward now there are no blocks we go into the next chakra which is a bright orange like the flickering fire around a campfire setting that beautiful brilliant orange dancing dancing throughout your digestive system burning away the old clearing out cleaning out cleansing healing, reinforcing, rebuilding, rejuvenated. And we come up farther into that solar plexus area where we feel intuition, God's wisdom right here, guiding us, telling us. We listen in this area when we're not sure. Do we go this direction? Ooh, nope, this direction. Listen to these areas of sensitivity, of God posts. That beautiful color peach. We come up to the sternum, which is already open just from our breathing. And we see it as a very tight bud of a lotus just above the murky water. She feels the sun and begins to feel free to begin to open. As that 
pod separates into these extraordinary, strong, powerful petals. They begin to glow. Every part of us is opening. Do you feel it? Every cell is responding, receiving, enjoying. What is emanating from that is the juice of God, the flavor, the aroma, the beauty, the substance of God. There is no room for anything but love. It just flows. It just flows and it's powerful. It's not sad. It's not emotional. It just is. It is love. Feel as she blooms from you and drips and oozes with this golden nectar a pure, energizing love. Feel how that just releases all tightness, rejuvenates and energizes and shakes loose every fragile, unstable thing is gone. There is a strength a solid anchor that is taking place. Mm, a golden pedestal grounding us to Mother Earth and opening us oh, to all that the heavens have to offer to give. Oh, this is where God receives and gives, grows, expands, strengthens. It is here full connection. You are fully turned on to the glorious light of God. You are strengthening that magnetic field for miles around you, drawing to you that strength, that power, that compassion, that love, that joy, that guidance, that wisdom. It is there. Your human ego is completely out of the way. You are free to be all that God created you in that perfect image. Just hold this, hold this power, this knowing of the truth of who you are. Feel that full connection to your higher powers. There's no stopping you. Pages and pages and chapters and chapters and volumes and volumes ahead of you. Do you dare glimpse at the next page? Oh my goodness, it's a colorful, beautiful chapter. Feel the joy, the excitement of brand new, safe, easy. Oh, how beautiful, how beautiful. Let us just bask in this presence of purity, of who you truly are within any confines that you have erected around yourself, all of the protective walls have crumbled. You do not need that protection any longer. You are free to be exactly who you were designed to be. Regardless, no fear, God's got you. Opening new doors, flinging wide the windows that once kept you imprisoned, even in this glass house. You are free, no blocks, no cells, no binds. I am free. I am unlimited. There are no ties that bind me. You are free. You are unlimited. Right now, we are free. We are unlimited. There are no chains that bind us. We are free. We are unlimited. Right now, right now. Now feel gratitude as that lotus 
with 12 extraordinary golden petals is wide open and bursting from her center the stamens of love and joy and hope and goodness. You are protected. You are complete. You are perfect just where you are. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Stay in this space on this sacred, holy Sunday. Light a candle for our world, for our health care workers, our teachers, our doctors, our nurses, our first responders, each other, our seniors, our juniors, our infants, those before us, our ancestors, those on their way, the blessings the blessings of those that came, the shoulders of who we stand. We bless you. We carry you. We further your legacy. We are blessed. We are beloved. I'm going to read today's daily word because it is so beautiful in case you haven't read it. Relax. Enjoy this. Enjoy your day. Divine love, wisdom, and understanding are expressing through me now. If I feel unsure of the next step in any situation, I simply let go and let God. I don't walk away from difficulty or try to force resolution. Instead, I release my tight grip on problems and open to the solutions embedded in the challenges. I let go of the ego's desire for control and my need to bring about a specific outcome. I believe there are solutions and remedies beyond what my mortal mind can conceive. I yield to possibility. I trust the indwelling divine presence, just as I would trust a mentor. Letting go and letting God means creating space for the dynamic creative energy of spirit to inspire and surprise me. Divine love, wisdom, and understanding fuel my thoughts, express through my words, and guide me in all ways, always. From Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your holy name. Be blessed. Share love. Call someone that needs your joy. I love you. God loves you. I will see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.